when it comes to substituents on cyclohexane rings, this is the rule to keep in mind. Whenever possible, substituents like to be in an equatorial position as opposed to axial to avoid those 1-3 diaxial repulsion interactions. So just as we have a rule that staggered is better than eclipsed, uh, equatorial is better than axial. What we're going to talk about the rest of this chapter are not monosubstituted cyclohexanes where they could always assume that axial uh, arrangement, but the situation when we have disubstituted cycloalkanes. Um, in those cases, we've got two substituents to keep up with, and so we want to be able to um, deal with those situations as well. And this next slide shows the simplest case of a disubstituted cycloalkane. These are dimethyl cyclopropanes, where the methyl groups are on adjacent carbons. And what we're seeing here are two different isomers of that compound. These are not conformations of each other because you can't interconvert them just by twisting bonds. The three carbons in the cyclopropane ring are fixed in the same plane. So from that starting point, if you put two methyl groups on the same side, they're both above the ring in this structure on the left, that's going to be a different isomer from if you have the two methyl groups on opposite sides of that three-membered ring. We're on the, when they're on the same side, we say that is a cis isomer. When they are, are across from each other, we call it a trans isomer. And um, just as we've seen before, isomers have to have something different in their name uh, to distinguish them since they are different molecules. And for these, they don't really have a, a way to uh, form different conformations apart from what are shown here. Um, but if we are identifying them, we want to be able to name them in a way that distinguishes them. So cis comes from a word meaning the same, same side of the ring. Trans means across. Uh, these are sometimes called geometric isomers. Um, that's just an older designation for cis and trans. Uh, but we do still have to appreciate their three-dimensional shapes in order to distinguish them. So they tend to be drawn in a way that allows us to do so. Now we can compare these two in terms of stability, and the trans isomer is more stable. Um, this is a potential energy diagram, kind of like what we were looking at for comparing different ring sizes. Uh, both of these are comparing dimethyl cyclopropane, um, the one on the left is cis, the one on the right is trans, and because the trans releases less energy when it's combusted, uh, that means it is more stable in the first place. And it's more stable because of, well, steric strain. The cis isomer, the methyl groups are actually feeling each other's presence, and it's the more accurate depiction of this space filling model that shows just how close those methyl groups really are and they are going to bump into one another if they're on the same side of that ring. When they're in a trans arrangement, they are further apart. They can't possibly bump into one another, and so that's why the trans isomer is uh, more stable than, than the cis one. Um, both of these molecules still have a lot of torsional strain, eclipsed bonds, a lot of angle strain, but with those methyl groups, uh, the molecule does prefer them if they are not on the same side of those rings. And we're going to see cis and trans isomers with six-membered rings, so we want to be able to, well, number one, identify and distinguish which is which. But with six-membered rings, uh, we can talk about the ring being able to flip, and that can sometimes relieve uh, un undesirable interactions. And when it comes to six-membered rings, well, there's four different dimethyl cyclohexanes uh, we can talk about. Uh, a cis and trans version of a 1,2 dimethyl cyclohexane and a cis and trans version of a 1,4 dimethyl cyclohexane. Um, there are other isomers uh, of dimethyl cyclohexane as well, but we're going to kind of look at these with the idea of trying to figure out in each set which of these are more stable than the others. And whether a cis is more stable than trans is going to depend on where those methyl groups are, and it's going to depend on whether they are axial or equatorial.